And as the war on Ukraine intensifies, journalists from all around the world are risking their lives to keep people informed and updated. Many have seen and shared the overwhelming and disturbing realities of war. KTVU's Brooks DeRose joins us now with a look at some powerful pictures taken by a photographer who is on the ground in Ukraine. Brooks. One week before Russian troops invaded Ukraine, a 22-year-old photojournalist from Auburn, Alabama, arrived to capture history. Little did he know he'd be living it. We'd get woken up in the middle of the night and told we had to go down to the basement. We could hear artillery from our room. Sometimes it would shake the hotel. Those were some very, very sleepless nights. Journalist Colin Mayfield has crisscrossed Ukraine, relying on Google Translate and at times an interpreter to get up close and personal. These are his photos. The Ukrainian people have been doing drive-by Molotov throwings at Russian armored vehicles. They've been taking them out with javelins, uh, just taking out armored vehicles left and right. And the Ukrainians have put up a much greater fight than a lot of people expected they would. Anti-tank obstacles, barriers, and bottles. Beyond the photos are the stories behind them, like these foreign fighters, Dravens from Washington State, Victor from Spain, both on a mission to protect alongside the determined Ukrainians. I've met old militia, men in their 60s with hunting guns prepared to serve at checkpoints. And then I've also met teenagers who are in converted art centers making camouflage netting out of old t-shirts and such. I met elementary school teachers that are now militia and they're devoting their time to making Molotov cocktails. So the people of Ukraine have really come together to, to fight this invasion. That fight, looking through his lens, is harsh, brutal, and graphic. Many scenes too gruesome to even show on TV. One of the most eye-opening things I saw was just seeing the corpse of a Russian on the side of the road on the northern outskirts of Kharkiv. He was mutilated with parts of his hand blown off. He was also in Lviv. Ukrainians are heading west to the Polish border. By law, men age 18 through 60 must stay. But first, they're helping their families flee. It is a humanitarian disaster. It's, it's quite sad. Still, Mayfield describes those he's met as admirable. Thousands of Ukrainians are, are doing all that they can to help the wounded. I mean, people are gathering medical supplies. People are en masse donating blood for, for wounded people, whether they be, you know, militia or soldiers or just innocent bystanders that were hurt. Strength found by helping and leaning on one another. Mayfield says he has experienced several tense moments and the Ukrainian troops take martial law very seriously. In major cities, there's a curfew as well as checkpoints. He says he has been detained several times for up to an hour before he's cleared to capture and photograph what's happening there. Alex? Yeah, some powerful images. Uh, Brooks, the photographer you spoke with, it sounds like he shares a lot of his work on social media, but he told you that he's received some surprising comments. Yes, he says he was disturbed by comments of people praising dead Russian soldiers and says much of the Russian army is conscripts. So men who he's found genuinely thought they were going on training missions and didn't know they were actually going to be ordered to invade Ukraine. All right. KTV's Brooks DeRose reporting live for us. Brooks, thank you. Thanks.